What you guys got another ransomware here for you this one is called Kirk ransomware and it's themed on uh, Star Trek and uh, I think this is probably one of the coolest looking ransomwares even though it is really malicious and it will encrypt all your data anything to do with Star Trek has got to be cool uh, but you won't want to get this on your system uh, you can see here we have our wallpapers here these are our documents now this could be all your uh, kids photos holidays weddings birthday parties you name it all stored on your computer and uh, if you haven't backed them up what's going to happen is once this gets on your system it's going to encrypt all your data so we'll click on this and uh, we'll see what the kirk ransomware is all about as you can see straight away it gives us the uh, low orbital cannon uh, message popping up here and uh, basically uh, once you click on this uh, file it will inject itself on the system you'll see high cpu usage uh, and then what will happen is uh, it will encrypt all your data now if you have not been familiar with uh, ransomware and you are new to my channel uh, then ransomware can come via email attachments uh, shady sites pirated software sites uh, dodgy advert sites you know that you download pirated software from anything like that can uh, contain uh, ransomware and stuff like that but it does normally come via uh, email attachments and stuff like that so people open them it will say you've got a parcel that you've missed you click on that attachment and then of course you get hit by this ransomware now it could lay dormant in the background you can see this one's already starting to work it's put a password folder onto our desktop and it's started to encrypt our data and uh, this can happen very quickly or you know without your knowing it can work in the background without you knowing if you've not realized what you've clicked on and you can see here the cpu is starting to climb on the file here now again you can see the locations it goes into the temp uh, local temp area here um, app data uh, and there's no point in me showing you the removal process because there is no uh, decryption tool for this and there you go Kirk ransomware is on the screen uh, and you can see here this is all done by ASCII I think it's called and I think it's so cool I remember uh, getting this done uh, many years ago on an old computer an old BBC computer with ASCII and used to get them printed out of your face it used to look pretty cool uh, but this one's called Kirk ransomware as you can see here it's got Spock and Kirk and it says the Kirk ransomware has encrypted all your files. Now, as I said, if you do get hit with this, you're pretty much done for until they release a decryption tool uh, to decrypt the files without paying for it. Now, I wouldn't advise you pay for these. You can see it does uh, encrypt all these file extensions on your computer, as you can see here. And these are the ones that are targeted uh, for you. Now, the gaming part, I wouldn't really worry too much about because they're normally based on steam you can re-download them but you can see here spock to the rescue and it's basically uh, asking you to follow the process here of what they want you to do the prices day two uh, two uh, zero to two days three to seven days eight to 14 days 15 to 30 days and it goes up in price as you can see here and the uh, offer expires on a certain date and time uh, so and they want you to pay uh, via this method here now again you can see here in 31 days your password decryption key gets permanently deleted now if they don't ever release at all then you're pretty much done for and this is the uh, email address which is uh, active at the moment now again I wouldn't advise you to ever pay for this type of uh, scam you see here live long and prosper and uh, what I would do on a regular basis is back up your data and store it away from the computer that you're using and that way you should be okay you can just reformat your system and uh, install Windows again and you should have all your data backed up and you can see here the extensions of these are called Kirked and uh, that means uh, these files are encrypted and it's pretty much impossible to decrypt them unless you have a decryption tool now, as soon as that becomes available, I will make another video and show you how to decrypt your files. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. That is the Kirk ransomware. Thanks again to Fix It Daz 
uh, for putting me onto this one and I shall see you again in the next video. Thanks again for watching and have a great weekend. Bye for now.